Farlow, buddy of mine. From a great album by Tal Farlow, buddy of mine from back in New Jersey. I met him in L.A. Uh, he autographed this to me on this March 7th, 1995 in Seabright, New Jersey when I was at his house taking a guitar lesson from him. He has a write-up on him when he passed away in 1998. Great album, The Return of Tal Farlow. Had some great things on it, great musicians. John Scully piano, Jack Six bass, Alan Dawson drums, Tal Farlow guitar, Straight No Ch Chaser. Don't that dream summertime, some time ago, I'll remember April, My Romance, Crazy She Calls Me, recorded September 23rd, 1969. Just uh, amazing. Prestige Records, Hack, Bergenfield, New Jersey. Been to that town many times. Uh, yeah, The Return of Tal Farlow. Um, great album. And I have another one here that he autographed of me to me. Best wishes to my friend Joe Tal Farlow. This is the second set. Eddie Costa, piano, Vinnie Burke on bass. Vinnie Burke also played guitar. He had an accident in World War II. He cut off a finger in, in the service. Tal Farlow guitar, second set, 1956 recordings. Yeah, best of everything. That was at Zeno's on June 11, 1985, when I went to see him downtown, and he played. This is at uh, Xanadu Records, both produced by Don Schlitten. Both times they were produced, if you notice in the jacket cover. All the things you are, I remember you, yesterday's, and let's do it. Xanadu Records. Out of where? Kingsbridge, New York, upstate there. Don Schlitten. Produced in Ed First. And this was done in Ed First's apartment in Manhattan. You know? In December of 1956. And here's Don Schlitten again. It's written here in the return of 13 years later, 1956 album, 1969. It's written there, produced by Don Schlitten. All right, here's another great guitar player here that not many people know of, uh, Oscar Aleman. He sounded a little bit like Django. You could see him there with a McAfee guitar. He sounded like Django, but he really didn't in a way. This is an album called Oscar Alleman 72, written in Spanish. I had to figure out what the words were. When the saints go marching in, it had to be you, Russian lullaby, honeysuckle rose. He died in 1980, I believe. He was born in uh, Argentina, had a rough life. He grew up in Europe, actually. He made it over to Paris, France, and... Uh, I always liked his style. It was similar to Django Reinhardt's. You could see it uh, was influenced by the McAfee guitars, but he played a steel string guitar too. And classical pieces, you know, uh, that are written here that I'm trying to decipher what they mean. Humbro Mio, my brother, my friend. Let's see, Rondell. Well, let's see, what's the label on here? What's the label? What's the label? Is it? It's called Redondel. Redondel. And uh, here's another one by him, which he shares the limelight. Swim Sessions, 1938-39. Freddie Johnson, Garland Wilson, Oscar Allman Trio. This is on Pat Day Records that you see a lot of the Django Reinhardt records on. Uh, his recordings, Django Reinhardt's recordings. And uh, this one, he does three songs here. Uh, he does uh, just a little swing, which is a great, great swing guitar thing. Dear Old Southland and Jeepers Creepers, two classics. But he shares this album with Freddie Johnson and his orchestra. See? They're doing all those tunes. And he shares it with Garland Wilson, piano player. Pate Marconi. These are great uh, records. You know, I want to show you the Gandhi. Tal Farlow record here. See? 
Xanadu Records, New York. And the other one here was Tau Faro Return. That's that's on another label yet. A lot of these guys went from label to label. Prestige Records. They print up a few, maybe a hundred thousand of these, and then it was gone. Then you then they became collectors' items, you know. All right. Okay, let's look at the Kinks now. The Kinks came out in 64, what you really got me on. Reprise Records. Frank Sinatra was on this label. Uh, this has got a lot of great stuff on it. It tells the story of the Davies brothers, Dave and Ray, Peter Quaife bass, Mick Avery on drums. It tells the whole story about them, you know. Set me free, got, got my feet on the ground, don't have a change. Wonder where my baby is tonight. Something better beginning. Everybody's going to be happy. A lot of great stuff here that really went unheard of because their big hits like All Day and All Night made it real popular to listen to rather than the B tracks and the album tracks. Here's another one. Kink's Greatest Hits, also on Reprise Records. And uh, has everything on it. It has all the great, the great songs that they did. The big... Uh, the big hits that made them famous from the start, you know, um, You Really Got Me, Tired of Waiting, All Day and All of the Night, Dedicated Follower Fashion, Well-Respected well Man, Set Me Free, just incredible band from London, England, Muswell Hill area. Here's the Kinks Live at Kelvin Hall. This is a very rare album because of its cover. It's usually come in a different package than this. And here they are, you see they're advertising other albums in the back, including another Kinks record there. And all day, all, all the night, I'm on an island, you're looking tired, Batman theme, tired of waiting for you, you really got me. This came out, I don't know, 66? It's on Pi Records, P-Y-E. These are out of England, out of, uh, basically out of London. Uh, now here's another one. The Ventures, great West Coast band, played a lot of guitar music on Dalton Records, Dalton, D-O-L-T-O-N, Wipeout, uh, this is live on stage, around the world, Japan, England, and the USA, got a whole bunch of good stuff here, Walk Don't Run, Apache 65, Wipeout Caravan, they used Mosrite guitars, which I had when I was a teenager. I got my first Mosrite guitar in 1968. My mother bought it for me on, out in Sam Ash Music in Hempstead, Long Island, August 4th, 1968. That's where Mosrite guitars were at one point, on Highland Avenue, and I got to live over there too, eventually, and looked for that very address, but it was by then a different storefront. Here's a lot of Ventures uh, music on different uh, different albums and the photos of them in Japan, England, the United States and uh, very good stuff. Here's a solid good gold hits. Uh, this is an album basically that you know has many people on it, many varied artists and it's on the label called Crystal. Who knows what they were and where they went to. Probably a subsidiary of uh, other companies you know, Green Label Lots of stuff here, and on the back they advertise that there's 24 golden hits for this album with all these artists. And on the back they advertise 24 groovy hits, which is these. See all those, Locomotion, There Goes My Baby, Chapel of Love, When a Man Loves a Woman, Under the Boardwalk, 24 happening hits, I Think We're Alone, Kind of a Drag, Little Girl. Daddy's Home, Daydream, Good Lovin', Younger Girl, Bermuda, I Own Nothing, Wooly Bully, and the one that we have here, the 24 Golden Hits, are these artists here. You know, like uh, The Little Rascals, and uh, Peaches and Herb, Glove and Spoonful, Bobby Goldsboro, Neon Rainbow, Get Out Now, Turn, 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 Are You Ready, When Summer Is Through, a lot of great stuff here on this album, it's a very album. George Harrison. The guy in the middle on stage with the Beatles. 33 and a third. That was when he was 33 and one third years old. Puts him at May of 1983, was it? Or 73, yeah. And he had pictures of him here. 
what label is this? This is um, probably... No, it wasn't a Apple. They had changed by then. He's on a different label now. But uh, it shows a lot of great photos of him. You know, and he sang some beautiful songs here. <clears throat> He's always into Hare Krishna and the Hindu belief of life. And uh, some of the things that Harrison sang here were like, even, even like True Love by Cole Porter, you know. On side two, second song. Cracker Box Palace. Uh, what is that? Cracker Box Palace. Yes, okay. Let's go over to this. England's greatest hit makers. The Stones are on here. Rolling Stones, The Bachelors, Tom Jones, you know. Them with uh, Van Morrison right there. What a marvelous night from 19 or whatever. Uh, Lulu, The Zombies are on here. This is a varied bunch of artists on a label that came out of England that showed a lot of variance in style and musicianship from London and Liverpool and Blackpool and Manchester and Birmingham, England. A lot of people, you know, um, were on this. England's Greatest Hit Makers. And it's on London Records, is it? Yes, it's on London Records, uh, which is what the Rolling Stones were on. And they're the headliner on this group with a tune called, uh, on this record rather, with a tune called Surprise, Surprise. Sort of like a rockabilly blues country stomper. You know, um, where was it? There it is, Surprise, Surprise. They wrote it, I guess. Here, Little Richard. Anybody remember Little Richard? Sure. Tutti Frutti. Uh, good golly, Miss Molly. He's on Buddha Records here. He was not on Buddha Records early. He used to be on Specialty, and we'll get to that in a minute. But here's an album from him, and uh, it has a lot of hits on it, and a lot of liner notes, exp liner notes explaining his lifestyle, what he went through. You know, good golly, Miss Molly, the girl can't help it, she's got it, slipping and sliding, baby face, you know, he did an old 30s tune there, Long Tall Sally, which the Beatles covered, everything, oh my soul, uh, unbelievable stuff here, you know, um, just incredible voice, a voice made out of stone, rock, iron, uh, the whole line of notes tell the story. Here's another one, Little Richard's Groovy's 17 original hits, Specialty, like we mentioned before. He was always on Specialty Records, this is the stereo version, it came out in mono at one point. Here's some other albums on the back showing what he had done earlier. Oh My Soul was on here. <clears throat> Miss Anne, send me some loving, we got like Miss Molly, you know, true fine mama all around the world, hey, 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 <clears throat> which is a bit of, well, Kansas City with the Beatles added into their song. Here's more liner notes on him, his 17 original hits. And uh, he's on Specialty Records, he was always on Specialty, and here it is, Specialty. <clears throat> the, the label covers had changed over the years, it was now... Gold and black. It used to be a different color, I believe, blue or something, and white. But uh, we'll, we'll, we'll research some more in a moment. Here's some more stuff. Didia Lockwood, violin, jazz style. Solo flight, Charlie Christian, jazz guitar pioneer with the Benny Goodman Orchestra. Art. Tatum, all right, he was great, Tatum guitar, Tiny Grimes guitar, excuse me, <laughs> Tatum piano, Slam Stewart on bass, and what happens is that a lot of these, these, uh, these artists are being forgotten today because everybody else is taking over, Randy Sabian, Vibrations, Red Norvo, he's on what label, Liberty, Liberty, Red Norvo, Okay, here, let's swing. Here's a guy who jammed with uh, Charlie Parker. Tony Gray, uh, quartet. You know? Richard Carr and the Pro Trio, whatever that is. Sabikas, flamenco guitar. I bought this a long time ago. I like this style. El Flamenco. A lot of Spanish pieces here, you know? Chet Atkins, the guitar genius. Vocals by his brother, Jim Atkins. Gretsch guitar. Very rare model. Single cutaway country gentleman. 
Chad and Jeremy, what Yesterday's Gone and the Summer Song, their big hits, they were on World Artists. Not United Artists, World Artists. Great duo. Sang a lot of great music. And uh, still on the charts today, people still listening to them. Here's, here's a guy I jammed with in Nyack, New York, one, Mike Glazer, a good violin instructor up at Boston Berkeley College, and Kenny Kosek, Hasty Lonesome. <clears throat> a good album there. Giants of Jazz guitar players. Tons of stuff on here. Comes with booklets and everything. Talks about all the great guitarists Django, Reinhardt, Tal Farlow, Barney Kessel, Jolly Christian. Eric Clapton. How could you forget Eric Clapton? The cream. Best history of him all over here. Here he is through the years. Did a lot of things on that instrument. Different hairdos, different times in his life. History of Eric Clapton. Chubby Checker. Chubby Checker. How could you forget Chubby Checker? The Twist. What label was he on? Parkway. Used to be Cameo Parkway. Orange and yellow label. Stereo. Adults twist at your own risk. <laughs> there he is. Barbara Streisand. Classical. Barbara Streisand. She's on Columbia Records. She's uh, my sister Barbara used to work for Columbia. Kenny Rankin, a great singer, sang a lot of great songs. He passed away a few years ago. Don Costa, arranging. I has the Hey Little Girl by the Syndicate of Sound. I don't have a cover for this one. Uh, that's on Bell Records. Nana, come with me. Here's two guys that were on George Harrison and the albums by uh, Ringo Starr in the early days. Lon and Derek Van Eaton, they're brothers. And uh, they played on a couple of my recordings in 1980 out in Studio City in a little, their home recording studio. Lon and Derek Van Eaton. Here they're on what label? Let me see. They're on Apple Records. George Harrison had put them on that label <clears throat> many moons ago. <clears throat> Good guys. <clears throat> Charlie Christian. Here we go. This is Celestial Express. This is on what you call Blue Note Records. <clears throat> There's a very rare recording on here of Charlie Christian playing an acoustic guitar. Plus the Edmund Hall Quintet and uh, there's a couple of things on here with guitar players that uh, will like this very much, you know. George Barnes, a studio cat. <clears throat> He's a friend of mine in Whitestone, New York. Wayne Wright played rhythm guitar for him, and Wayne Wright also played rhythm guitar for Les Paul. This is George Barnes on Wing Records. Jeepers Creepers, Sugar, Singing in the Rain, Guitars Galore, Picking Plenty, Running Wild, Have You Met Miss Jones, George Benson, George Benson, a great moment in history of, of jazz guitar. Breezin, his big hit from 76. And he's on Warner Brothers Records. Richie Hart was a local guy up in Nyack, Rockland County. Spring Valley, Valley Cottage, plays jazz guitar. Let's see what label. Karat, Karat Records. <clears throat> his uh, cousin, a friend, played guitar with me a few times. Many times, Tommy Kovac, Richie Hart, just a matter of time. All right, B.B. King, live at the Regal. Hold on, folks, hold on. I know I'm going off camera. Live at the Regal. <clears throat> Here it is. It um, goes back. This is a rare cover for this. This is an older cover than the red and white normal one. He's on what you call... ABC Records. Now, probably ABC Dunhill later on, you know. Guitars. Here's another one. Guitars in Velvet. Grand Award. <clears throat> I don't know what this is all about, but here's another one by a guy named Billy Bird, who half the name of the Birdland Gibson guitar goes to. The other one is Hank Garland. Birdland. See? Okay. I love a guitar, Billy Bird girl on the cover caressing a guitar. 
a fallen star burden on guitar, you're cheating hearts, shopping, slipping around, hey good look and have as much I love you, so much it hurts, walking the floor over you, and uh, what else we got here, we got the guitars, Stars Unlimited, Barclay, <clears throat> Atco Records, Atlantic Company Records, DJ Promo Copy, I still got everything here, look at those guitars. All right, and how about Mr. Marshall? This guy played great guitar, very underrated, very well known, but some parts of the world not known at all. Jack Marshall, property of WNEW, Jack Marshall's music. The Marshall Swings, San Antonio Rose, Wagon Wheels, Don't Fence Me, and Cimarron all along the Navajo Trail, the deputy way out in the valley. Here's Fats Waller. Who's ever heard of Fats Waller? Honeysuckle Rose, Ain't Misbehaving, and his rhythm, 1940, volume 20 of the series on RCA. Fats Waller. Great guy. Great, great musician. <coughs> Piano player, died young. Jerry Lewis' son, Gary Lewis and the Playboys. Here he is. Liberty Records. This diamond ring, the night has a thousand eyes, all day and over the night, keep searching. Forget him, dream lovers, uh, dream lover, needles and pins, wheat little rock and roller. There he is with his father, Jerry Lewis, the band, everything. Joe Cocker. Can we forget Joe Cocker? No, we can't forget him. On A&M Records, right out of Los Angeles. With a little help from my friends. <clears throat> Here's some of them, Jimmy Page, Chris Stanton, a lot of guys here, a lot of good music, and uh, that's it for now. <clears throat>